in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The thoughts that I am sharing with you today are prompted by a very serious situation in our nation with respect to our food supply. Those who are providing vegetables, dairy, beef, pork, sheep, and poultry must have a way to distribute it when it's ready for people to eat it. But when the laborers cannot take care of the crops, the milk, the animals for food, then it will be lost. Vegetables are being plowed under, milk is being dumped, animals are being euthanized, and we feel so helpless. Once these food sources are destroyed, they're gone forever. Perhaps you remember a portion from God's Word. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. As much as we are disturbed by what is happening in our nation and in our world, we need to be praying earnestly to the Lord of the harvest about the souls that are being called each day to their eternal destiny. Hark the voice of Jesus calling, who will go and work today? Fields are white and harvest waiting. Who will bear the sheaves away? Yes, it is our time to encourage one another every day and to do it with prayer. And so we pray. Heavenly Father, let not the hearts of your people despair, nor our faith fail, but sustain and comfort us. Bring hope and healing that we may find relief and restoration through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. Amen.